Well, Mr. Maguire, how are you? I'm very well, thanks. I'm just swallowing the last bit of my sandwich. Yes, I'm very well, thank you. Have you had a good show today? Yeah, it was very good. Nottingham has is, is been brilliant. We played... Because um, Nottingham, Norwich was horrible. I really didn't enjoy it very much. Sorry to anyone who's from Norwich. I don't mean you're horrible, but I didn't enjoy playing there. They were really kind of... Uh, uh, houses. And Nottingham has just been absolutely brilliant. I mean, I gigged here before, and the crowds, the, the girls were great, uh, screamers and that, and um, the audiences seem to be the same for adults as well. They're really good, easygoing, you know, enjoy the show sort of people. At the time when you had your songs out, you actually came here as part of your tour, didn't you? That's right, yeah, with Boyzone. They're really good mates, yeah. I've known them since they sort of started. So, yeah, yeah, it was great fun. We had, a, you know, it was like six boys all on tour going mad for months on end. Yeah, it was good. It was like my kind of university years, really. Is it strenuous doing this job? Because you're in a different town every night. I mean, you've, you've been doing this for five weeks, I think, now, haven't you? Mm. Um, it's not strenuous. It's more... Um, I don't know, you kind of, sometimes you think, where am I, what am I doing? Oh, sometimes you think, oh, I wish I was at home. Like, all my mates are all on holiday in Magaluf at the moment, and I sort of thought, I want to be there, you know, I want to be doing that. But you, every, it's like anyone, you have those moments of blueness, but it's all worth it, you know, when you go out on stage and, uh, and you're making them laugh, it's, it's a bit like a drug, really, it's very addictive. You just want more and more, you want to keep making them laugh. Um, so I'm having tremendous fun. I, I'm enjoying myself, I'm not too bogged down. I think we're about the same age, and I know I watch you from when I was obviously really young when you were in Grange Hill and stuff. You've only known a showbiz life. Does it get you down after a while? Do you think you've lost your childhood? Because, I mean, where I work at Century, it's a bit like God's waiting room, to be honest with you. And you kind of grow up older, don't you? Do you think that's the oh, same? Oh, yeah. Way? I mean, you certainly, you certainly grow up... I mean, as children, you, you're sort of the product of the environment in which you grow up. Um, and I've sort of... Uh, yeah, I think I d my childhood was rushed a little bit, but then I still have very childhood, childlike tendencies now. I go a bit stupid and go a bit mad and do things, but um, I don't have any qualms about it. I d people often say, well, how do you cope with uh, da, 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 this, that, and the other? And uh, the thing is, I've never known anything any different. I've never, I haven't had two different lives, one normal and one this one. So this has just been, this is my normality, really. It's just what I love doing and anything I can do. <laughs> Do you find that when you kind of do these interviews with a paper, they'll kind of ask leading questions to get you to say things and you're drawn in? Yeah, they want... I mean, I much prefer being on the radio because people can hear your own voice and they hear how you phrase it and they get a sense of what you like. Um, in the newspaper, they'll, they'll, ask you all of, they'll ask you 20 questions and they'll go back and then they'll cut out little bits that you said. So it's quote, direct quote. But they'll ask the question they asked, then they'll cut all the bit where it made sense and just take the little media-friendly soundbite out. And it's like, um, you know, the question might be how do you feel about gay people and you go well I've got loads of gay friends and uh, you know I've uh, you know I can go out and enjoy myself and it doesn't bother me but you know obviously I, I'm I'm just strictly like girls and then they'll go Sean sure, only likes girls he slays all gay people you know and it, and it has been done so many times you just you just got to be so careful when you answer questions and um, you, you also can get something if you're doing the, the national papers you can get something called copy approval where you see the interview before they run it but um I generally don't, most people I know just generally don't really want to do interviews with the, the nationals, really, because they're nasty. You are a sex symbol. I'm similar. I'm a sex symbol for women who don't care. <laughs> right. Now, this is true, as you can gather. Now, are, are the younger generation coming to see you in this because of the stuff you've done in the past in EastEnders and Grange Hill? Um, yeah, quite a few young people have come. Quite sort of a few 20 somethings, 30 somethings have come. But, I mean, a lot of the audience has been predominantly kind of much older, you know, the, the sort of middle aged market. And it's really interesting because it, I, I've spent a lot of my career catering to the younger audience so it's lovely to be able to to play the older side as well and it, it just makes you feel like you're kind of crossing the board a lot more in this play you get to sleep with stephanie beecham yeah yeah not personally you won't no, stand no. but you don't actually see any sleeping going on but no yeah we play sort of um we play two people who who are brought together after being dumped by our um sort of husband and wife and there's kind of irony between the middle classness of the female who goes for your character, which is a bit of a yobbo, really. Yeah, I mean, my character is a bit, is a bit of a sort of ignorant, sort of yobby, sort of stroke Del Boy, stroke, you know, tasty geezer sort of thing. So it's a lot of fun to play, you know, you get to do a lot of, yeah, all right, no bother, sweet, lovely, bush, here we go. And um, so that's, it's a lot of fun to do that. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's got a bit of everything. It's the class war, it's the sex war, you know, there's degeneration. The gap thing so yeah it does kind of cover quite a few quite a few of the main topics really what's next for you you finish in a few weeks with this don't you 
Um, yes, it doesn't seem like that. Yeah, we've got a few. We've got about another month to go on this, and uh, I finished shooting a movie just before Christmas, which is called Out of Depth, which is a London gangland thriller, which will be coming out. We hope around autumn but uh, we haven't got a release date yet okay. so look out for that in the cinemas and please go and see it it's better than Lockstock really? it's not it's, no it's completely different it's, this is like Lockstock was black comedy and this is just black really it's just <laughs> it's just really dark and it's one of those things that you know when you ever uh, you can get in a situation where you're angry and you really want to get your own back and uh, it's about the story of a boy who goes to the wrong person and gets mixed up in all sorts of things you've done so much in your career as I say you started re- real young in, in Grange Hill and then you went on to EastEnders could you come back in that? I could a lot of people it's, it's a question that really does kind of bemuse me slightly people just go when are you going back in EastEnders and I think well I made two albums four or five different TV series, a film, three plays, two European tours, and, and people say, when are you coming back in EastEnders? You think, there's so much more to the world than just going into the cafe and asking cups of tea, you know. I mean, it was great, and I loved it, and, I, and, and I'm forever grateful for, for what it did for my career, but, I mean, like, any, I've done a million jobs, and, and I would never want to go back to any one of them, not because I didn't love them, but I just felt that at the time it was to leave, that's when I had to leave, had to go, you know. But I think it's like Coronation's, it, it's, it's an institution institutional thing isn't it it's something that people do regard I mean you can do these shows for as much as you like but if you're in their front rooms three nights a week in the cafe asking for cups of tea you are their neighbours basically for all intents but you are the person over the fence saying how's the kids and all that I mean it's that is the identification people seem to to have with you I mean on one hand you love it because you think well people are watching me people are aware I am and that I'm doing my job right because people are nearly always complimentary but um, at the same time it's that thing of like you're growing as an actor you're growing your career is growing and you kind of want people to see the other sides, what else you're capable of, rather than just saying, hello, Mr. Fowler, and all that sort of thing. <laughs> Was it hard to pick up that accent? Because that's what you're best known for, isn't it, your um, accent? Not really, no. I mean, the last one of the last the last TV series I did, just before I did Holby City, I did. I played a northerner. I played, like, from Sheffield. And, and that was... I mean, unfortunately, it wasn't on prime time. It was, um, it was recorded for BBC School, so a lot of, it went out at lunchtime, and a few people have come up to me and said they saw it. But I just love playing anything where I've got a different accent. Any accent is, is, is a challenge and it's fun. But the Irish one was a bit easy because all my family are Irish. Will we see you on telly soon? Um, I don't know. I've been offered a, something that I'm not sure whether to do or not, or to go with a film that's got very little money but a fantastic script and a p- possible spellbounding cast. So I don't know is the answer. Um, uh, the, 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 the next thing that people will see me in is Out of Depth, which, as I said, is coming out later this year. But, uh, yeah, I I'm, I'm, might do a TV series towards the end of the year. Just got to wait and see how it goes. Well, best of luck with Funny About Love. It's a great, great show. Come and see it. It's on at the Nottingham Theatre Royal till Saturday. And thanks for talking to us today. Pleasure. Thanks very much.